okay so we are going to discuss as per plan that is the uh, mcq on smooth muscle right okay so in this session we uh, we have planned to discuss this session because you know smooth muscle is a little bit different from other two types of muscle in our body that is the skeletal muscle and myocardium smooth muscle has some special feature that will be uh, we are going to discuss during this session along with some mcqs okay so first of all i am giving you some uh, one mcq try to answer this first right so most distinguishing feature between skeletal muscle and smooth muscle okay so what feature differentiate or distinguish between these two type of muscle skeletal muscle and smooth muscle very very easy question anyone try to answer okay so this is answer is a so you are absolutely correct answer is very very uh, a okay so always remember ki uh, that troponin uh, it's a it's a basically calcium uh, binding protein you know ki it's a calcium binding protein in both myocardium as well as skeletal muscle but we all know that this calcium binding protein is not present in smooth muscle in smooth muscle so in case of smooth muscle the calcium binding protein which is present which is important to remember that is calmodulin right please remember so in smooth muscle the calcium binding protein is calmodulin but in skeletal and myocardium that is the troponin other which are written here other name which are written here like tropomyosin myosin actin everything is present in 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 skeletal muscle also as well as smooth muscle also so there is no big different but please remember the tropomyosin uh, there is a little difference here tropomyosin this is the molecule which in case of skeletal muscle okay which in case of skeletal muscle it prevent it prevent the actin myosin interaction it prevent the actin myosin interaction right interaction but this tropomyosin in case of smooth muscle although it is present but it does not prevent the actin myosin interaction rather it enhances it enhances actin myosin interaction actin myosin interaction so please remember that in case of smooth muscle tropomyosin molecule is present but it is not preventing the actin myosin interaction so i can ask you question that so who is preventing the actin myosin interaction in case of smooth muscle during resting stage obvious question is that that who is preventing the actin myosin interaction how the smooth muscle relaxes so there is a mechanism we will try to discuss that mechanism during our discussion so this is the first mcq now coming to the second mcq so this is the second mcq again you try to answer what is your answer calmodulin activate right what is your answer calmodulin activate anyone calmodulin activate okay so just now we discussed that calmodulin is a calcium binding protein okay so 2 uh, 3 dpc answer no answer a no that's also not answer so uh, try to discuss this so answer will be protein kinase right so first of all see whenever there is presence of calcium in the smooth muscle cytoplasm okay whenever there is presence of calcium in smooth muscle of cytoplasm what is the mechanism of contraction of smooth muscle okay so calcium is needed in the cytoplasm that's a free calcium it will bind with so calcium binds with calmodulin so this is calcium calmodulin complex okay now this calcium calmodulin complex what it will do it will activate a protein kinase what is that that is known as the myosin light chain kinase molecule that is the question here so this calcium calmodulin complex will activate myosin light chain kinase right myosin light chain kinase will be activated now what this myosin light chain kinase will do see suppose this is your myosin right this is your myosin molecule 
and this is the myosin head so this is the head of the myosin and along with that this is the neck of the myosin and this is the basically body of the myosin you can imagine like this now at the level of this neck region at the level of this neck region there is a protein molecule which is known as myosin light chain okay so it's a myosin light chain okay phosphorylation of this myosin light chain is essential for contraction of the smooth muscle okay and who will phosphorylate this myosin light chain that is the myosin light chain kinase so please remember uh, myosin light chain kinase molecule will causes phosphorylation it will causes phosphorylation of mlc myosin light chain mm -hmm. now whenever there is phosphorylation so suppose the phosphate molecule is attached here phosphorylation is occurring what will happen what next contraction will occur but what how the contraction will occur okay to understand that remember this angle between this head and neck normally is less okay but whenever there is phosphorylation of the myosin light chain what will happen this head will increases its angle so the head angle will be increased increase angle of the head along with that there is second change that is the it will activate the myosin atpase enzyme please note down this is not clearly written book so two things you have to remember phosphorylation of the myosin light chain how it is helpful for contraction number one it increases the angle it increases the angle of myosin head with the neck right second thing it also activate it also activate or i should write down it increases the it increases the myosin a t p age enzyme it also increases the myosin atp age enzyme okay it increases the myosin atp age enzyme so what will happen why i am discussing this increase in myosin atp age activity again and again please remember these two things we have not seen for skeletal muscle or myocardium okay because note down because in skeletal muscle and in myocardium this myosin atp age activity is constitutively high means they are already high you should not increase or you do not require to increase the myosin atp age activity but in case of smooth muscle this myosin atp age activity of this myosin head is not that much high so to onset of, for the onset of contraction you have to activate this myosin atp age enzyme and that is done by phosphorylation of the myosin light chain kinase that's why myosin light chain that's why this is very very important so important so whenever these two thing happen that increase angle of the myosin head as well as increase atp age activity then there will be formation of actin myosin bridge okay so actin myosin interaction will be there and after this actin myosin interaction there will be contraction of the muscle so please please remember this is the question which has been asked here okay so your answer will be calmodulin activate kinase protein kinase okay and because of this calmodulin activation the actin myosin interaction will occur and smooth muscle contraction will be there okay now whenever we are discussing this contraction please remember a little more that is how the relaxation how the relaxation will occur that means this actin myosin interaction is already there contraction is over but contra before that you have to detach the myosin head how it will be it will occur for that you require to dephosphorylate this myosin light chain and for that you require a enzyme which is nothing but phosphatase okay so this phosphatase enzyme causes d phosphorylation it will causes dephosphorylation of the myosin light chain and whenever this dephosphorylation there is detachment of myosin heads from actin 
am i clear so please remember so contraction means attachment detachment attachment detachment this will continue multiple time attachment detachment this is continuing multiple times okay for the attachment what you require for the attachment you require phosphorylation of the myosin light chain that is very very important phosphorylation of this myosin light chain and for the detachment what you require phosphatase enzyme is required okay that's why i told you earlier that's why i told you earlier that in case of skeletal muscle you must have seen that uh, in between actin and myosin so if i draw uh, if i give a concept of skeletal muscle suppose this is a skeletal muscle myosin head okay and above this myosin head, this is actin what you know that between this actin and this myosin head in case of skeletal muscle i am repeating in case of skeletal muscle there is a molecule which is known as the tropomyosin so this is tropomyosin is between actin and myosin and they are preventing the interaction between this actin and myosin that's why i told you but in smooth muscle this tropomyosin molecule is there but he is not preventing the actin myosin interaction but rather it enhances the actin myosin interaction but why the interaction is not occurring because for actin myosin interaction in smooth muscle you require you require to increase the atpase enzyme here and you require to increase the angle of this head which is not required for skeletal muscle that is the thing okay plus plus you remember two molecule name in case of smooth muscle only that is cal desmon and calponin why i will remember these two molecule because they are the inhibitor they are the inhibitor of actin myosin interaction they are tonic inhibitor of actin myosin interaction in case of smooth muscle so this inhibitor has to be activated by this phosphorylation am i clear or not please give me give me answer am i clear or not so phosphorylation of the myosin light chain is very very essential that is doing two main thing apart from that you have to remove this inhibitor protein who are they caldesmon and calponin this inhibitor protein has to be inactivated by this phosphorylation of the myosin light chain also okay so this is the mechanism very very different from skeletal muscle and myocardium mechanism that's why we have to remember this thing right okay now i'm going to the next mcq so again i will ask you answer here try to answer what is your answer here which of the following acts to increase the release of calcium from endoplasmic reticulum okay endoplasmic reticulum or sarcoplasmic reticulum whatever okay which of the following acts to increase the release of calcium right so we know the this endoplasmic reticulum or sarcoplasmic reticulum they are the storage site for calcium there is something who will who will increases the release of calcium okay so answer is coming this d a g vitamin d okay so parathyroid known is giving answer okay in acetyl triphosphate okay so uh, you are wrong okay even d a g is not the answer answer is inositol triphosphate ip3 inositol triphosphate okay so basically to answer this question i told you smooth muscle so very very specific questions are there to answer this question what you required to remember so we are discussing this thing what are the source of calcium for smooth muscle contraction because just now we have discussed smooth muscle contraction require calcium okay and how the calcium will cause contraction calcium calmodulin complex is there but question what is the source of calcium in the cytoplasm of the smooth muscle where from they are coming okay so try to understand suppose this is a smooth muscle membrane now on a smooth muscle membrane what is there there is a little depression here listen there is a little depression on the smooth muscle membrane this depressed region is known as caveoli this depressed region is known as caveoli please remember this is not t tubules 
in case of skeletal muscle and smooth muscle uh, sorry skeletal muscle and myocardium t tubules is there but in smooth muscle t tubules is not there fully formed t tubules is not there but rather there is a depressed area on the smooth muscle membrane which is known as caveoli what is the importance this caveoli contain this caveoli contains okay uh, so my health is very good okay you can easily find out although my uh, complexion and everything has been changed that because of the chemotherapy but forget about that i am good okay so this caveoli what i was saying this caveoli contain this caveoli contain voltage gated calcium channel so c a v voltage gated calcium channel are present at the region of this caveoli the variety of calcium channel which is present in smooth muscle is 1.2 variety 1.2 variety please remember voltage gated calcium channel cav 1.1 it is present in case of skeletal muscle important to remember it is present in case of skeletal muscle but ca v 1.2 this kind of calcium channel is present in case of smooth muscle uh, myocardium as well as smooth muscle in both the condition in both the con condition cav 1.2 is there so what will happen some calcium will enter through this channel whenever there is change in membrane voltage listen carefully they are known as the voltage gated calcium channel what do you mean by if your membrane voltage is changing for depolarization then the voltage gated calcium channel will open up and calcium will enter into the cytoplasm but is that the major source of calcium for smooth muscle contraction answer is no this is not the major source of calcium although the sarcoplasmic reticulum or sarcoplasmic reticulum is rudimentary or smaller in size in case of smooth muscle but remember if this is my sarcoplasmic reticulum in smooth muscle there is a calcium channel here also for the release of all the calcium which is present inside this present inside this sarcoplasmic reticulum and this is the major source of calcium but what is the name of this channel which will releases the calcium this channel is known as r y r receptor channel i hope all of you know this name rhinodin receptor channel but although we know the rhinodin receptor channel but we thought that rhinodin receptor channel is present in skeletal muscle and myocardium but thing is that this rhinodin receptor channel which is basically a calcium channel the one variety the one variety is present in case of skeletal muscle in case of skeletal muscle right rhinodin receptor type 2 variety is present in case of myocardium right and in case of smooth muscle this is rhinodin receptor type 3 is present so basically the discussion which you are doing here here i should write down this is rhinodin receptor type 3 okay now note down the mechanism here note down the mechanism here whenever the calcium is entering from extracellular fluid to the intracellular fluid this calcium stimulate the opening of rhinodin receptor channel which are present on this sarcoplasmic reticulum this mechanism where the outside calcium is stimulating the rhinodin receptor channel we know that if you stimulate the rhinodin receptor channel then what will happen further calcium will be released from cytoplasm so this mechanism where outside calcium is stimulating rhinodine for release of more calcium is known as calcium induced calcium release okay so this c for calcium i for induce it is inducing the release of further calcium okay so that's why this is calcium inducing calcium release from sarcoplasmic reticulum please note down this mechanism is very very famous and very very prominent in case of myocardium but it is not that much prominent in smooth muscle okay now so this is the main mechanism of calcium uh, smooth muscle calcium okay now apart from that what is our mcq here now we are look at this mcq there are some receptor on the smooth muscle membrane generally this receptor are g protein coupled receptor whenever ligand binds with this receptor this g protein this g protein produces okay two molecule that is inositol triphosphate plus diacylglycerol 
okay inositol triphosphate and diacylglycerol okay so this inositol triphosphate is another molecule which can release calcium from this sarcoplasmic reticulum okay anyone question okay so this this there is a another receptor here that is known as the ip3 receptor this receptor is also a calcium channel so who will attach who will attach with this receptor simple this ip3 molecule will attach with the receptor and whenever it is attached further calcium will be released from sarcoplasmic reticulum so please remember from the sarcoplasmic reticulum calcium release can occur via this ryr channel as well as ip3 receptor channel diacylglycerol has separate function it is not for the calcium release it is basically activator of protein kinase c okay and it will cause phosphorylation of protein but this is not for calcium release dag is not for calcium release although the g protein will produce both the molecule so these two are the major source of calcium in case of smooth muscle and there is last source i should say here there is last source which is known as the store operated store operated calcium entry this is very very separate from other mechanism this is present in not all smooth muscle selective smooth muscle whenever the whenever the intracellular calcium store is low okay what will happen this channel will open up and more calcium will enter so this is known as the store operated calcium entry into smooth muscle so now if i give a summary to you what are the source of calcium so number 1 ecf calcium you recall okay for this what channel is there cav 1.2 channel is there number 2 major source of calcium that is the sarcoplasmic reticulum calcium how this calcium will be released that is the ip3 receptor plus plus r y r channel type 3 variety and number 3 is the store operated calcium release okay store operated calcium release so that's why in this question this is the old mcq of ames so which of the following acts to increase the release of calcium from sarcoplasmic reticulum or endoplasmic reticulum that is the in inositol triphosphate or ip3 right dag although it will be produced but it's not a release of calcium molecule okay so we are going to the next mcq so this you should answer right now okay this now you should answer okay pj chandigar question so i will i will ask you for how many question how many at least two answer you should give okay there are two correct answer here so try to answer what are the two correct answer right right simple increase in cytosolic calcium from intracellular storage during smooth muscle contraction okay during smooth muscle contraction intracellular storage intracellular storage increase in cytosolic calcium from intracellular storage means they are basically asking sarcoplasmic reticulum so what are the channels which require okay so one is ip3 dag very good and this is calcium channel calcium channel means sarcoplasmic reticulum which calcium channel r y r that's also a calcium channel okay so this is your answer this is your answer so b and d very very good very very good you are going great okay everybody great now next question the difference between skeletal and smooth muscle contraction or relaxation so we discuss this mechanism in detail now i will ask you now i'll ask you what is the answer pj chandigarh question so it can be multiple or can be single so it can be given in aims or uh, even neat pg exam because it's not multiple answer it's a single answer question that is only and only that is only and only troponin the difference they are asking the difference between skeletal muscle and smooth muscle please remember myosin light chain it is present in smooth muscle although it is not that much significant in skeletal muscle but it is present a different sub variety of myosin light chain is present even in skeletal muscle so this is not my answer calcium is required for all type of muscle contraction and uh, obviously actin myosin should be there so only and only a is the answer okay now next question true regarding excitation contraction coupling in smooth muscle is just read the options just read the option this is easy 
so yes mlc kinase is also present in smooth muscle okay even i was not very sure but it is present in smooth muscle but there is a separate type okay so that will not be the answer also now look at this question so true regarding excitation contraction coupling in smooth muscle presence of troponin is essential very very false statement because troponin is not present in smooth muscle sustained contraction occurs with high calcium concentration is present this is also false sustained contraction in skelet, uh, smooth muscle is known as latch bridge formation latch bridge formation the mechanism of this latch bridge formation is not known but this is surely not due to calcium okay so this is also not correct then phosphorylation of actin is required for contraction why this is not true phosphorylation of actin is not okay phosphorylation of myosin light chain kinase is required for contraction of the smooth muscle so this is also not true okay phosphorylation of the myosin light chain kinase is required and number four obviously it will be answer presence of cellular calcium is essential to cause muscle contraction i told you that calcium is required for all type of contraction whether it is smooth muscle skeletal muscle or in case of myocardium right so that's why this is the answer here now try another one okay try another one true for smooth muscle contraction is all except true for smooth muscle contraction is all except latch bridge are less cycle less atp bridge tell me whether this is true or false true or false true or false first one this is true or false this is a true statement please remember i told you earlier that when the myosin head interact with the actin like this this detachment of the myosin head this detachment of the myosin head will occur whenever there is dephosphorylation okay whenever there is dephosphorylation of this myosin light chain just listen once if there is myosin light chain kinase dephosphorylation then detachment of the head will occur now this attachment and detachment of the head that means the phosphorylation and dephosphorylation of the myosin light chain kinase require atp atp molecule is required okay but there are some smooth muscle in our body which contract for long duration long duration contraction like for example after food your git has to contract your after food your git has to contract for long duration so if you are contracting for long duration there will be huge amount of wastage of atp molecule that's why smooth muscles has a separate mechanism where where this dephosphorylation will be there but even after dephosphorylation even after dephosphorylation myosin head myosin head remain attached with actin that means actin myosin interaction is still there although the dephosphorylation has occurred okay generally if dephosphorylation is there then detachment should be there but here i am saying that even after dephosphorylation actin myosin interaction is there that means there will be persistent contractile state of the muscle although there is dephosphorylation so if there is no dephosphorylation uh, all, uh, if there is no dephosphorylation but myosin is attached then you don't require this atp that's why it is said in this process atp requirement will be less and there is less phosphorylation is required but still persistent contraction is there and this kind of persistent contraction is known as latch bridge formation in case of smooth muscle which is very 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 economical in smooth muscle for sustained contraction right this kind of phenomenon is not there in case of skeletal muscle as well as myocardium in case of skeletal muscle similar kind of phenomena is known as rigor mortis but you know this is not a physiological phenomena in smooth muscle this is physiological latch bridge phenomena is physiological but in case of skeletal muscle rigor mortis is pathological phenomena whenever there is depletion of the atp in the cell after death the rigor mortis is occurring so this is a pathological in skeletal muscle but in physiological 
in case of smooth muscle which is economical for smooth muscle so first one large bridge are less cycle less detachment attachment cycle less atp true statement then second statement is saying dephosphorylation cause it definite relaxation this is true or false definite relaxation just now i told you even after dephosphorylation definite relaxation is not possible that is large bridge so this is a false statement then third is saying light chain phosphatase is essential for binding again it's a false statement light chain phosphatase is not essential for binding light chain kinase is essential length tension relationship does not exist does not exist this kind of statement is very very wrong okay it is there in case of smooth muscle also but different from skeletal muscle so here our question was all except so obviously this b will be my answer and c will be my correct answer so i hope you have learned something about this smooth muscle so very very peculiar so you'll read more okay from whatever source you require and now you can follow me in you uh, an academy platform i am taking some uh, classes there on a regular basis currently i am uh, taking this kind of uh, capsule course on nerve muscles and cvs physiology right uh, there we are uh, discussing this topic and in the next month we are going to discuss uh, other part of the uh, physio that is the respiratory nervous system etc and you can enroll for the plus courses which are uh, uh, which are uh, very very uh, very very useful for your purpose and lastly you can use my reference code that is d r s o u m e n 10 okay for plus course uh, enrollment right so good night